Welcome everyone. I'm Enter the Hero. So you enjoyed by Pink. And this is yeah. the Shut Your Mouth Lounge, episode 256, I think. I believe. I think that's right. It's either 256 or 257. And boy, is the fucking... The, are these intros gonna get real, real wacky <laughs> once I'll change my name? So I can just use the same one I've been using for the past, like, six years. <laughs> uh, I'll just go back to the, to, the, to the fucking... The one that I came up with when we were playing fucking uh, Vermintide. Hem hard, Ari. Just all of the made-up languages. Yes, I like it. Uh, but yeah, so Pink. Is anything coming out on yeah. your channel? Uh, there might be, actually. I got a little bit of the uh, file 3 edited down last night, and if I can keep getting that edited down over uh, Sunday night and maybe a little bit on Monday, if it still has work to do, I can maybe get the Fallout 3 finally uploaded sometime midweek of ah, next nice. week. i for that. Uh, outside of that, I did record a couple games of Dead by Daylight, so that those will probably be going up this week. But outside of that stuff, uh, no, I shouldn't have anything else coming out. All right. Well, uh, as for, for my channel, I did finish the script. For the for the one review that's in in uh in, in in progress. Why the fuck am I speaking so weird? Anyway, yeah, so I did finish the <laughs> for the for the one review review that's uh current currently being developed, and that's that's gonna be a thing. Uh, I might try streaming something. I redownloaded the Last of Us so I can try to finish it, <laughs> maybe. Nice. But that's also a thing thing of like I I'll, I'll have to. Uh, the desk you when you're free for that, and you know that that's we'll do that off recording. <laughs> yeah. So maybe a stream, maybe not. I don't know yet. Sounds good. Sounds good. And then let's see. Do I have anything else? No, not really. <laughs> so yeah, as for the group group channel, we have Spider Man. We're we're close to the finish line. Spider Man will end sometime. Someday. How long has that series been going now? For like a whole year now? It, it nearly went for a whole year. Uh, we started Spider-Man in, I think, December last year. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, if 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 um, if um we managed to do the, the schedule the way I wanted, it, wanted, it to, wanted to do it initially, literally, the last uh, video of this year would have been Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I wish I wish we we were able to do that, but you know, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so Spider Man uh is coming out then. On Tuesday, I want to say. Stray. Inches inches closer closer to, to completion as well. Very nice. And then on Friday, we have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Because we don't have anything else recorded. <laughs> so we can we can yeah. do the, the mix ups. And that's it for this week, I think. Maybe FGA? But probably not. I mean, WWE is busy, so yeah, even, even if FGA would, would be now. scheduled this week, I'm going to assume that FGA skips this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, then Pink, what have, you, what have you been up to? Uh, not a lot, not a lot. Uh, let's see. For starters, um, I think it was this week or the previous week, but I don't think I mentioned it the previous week. Uh, Civilization announced their uh, upcoming leaders pack. It's going to be a PC, iOS only type of deal because consoles suck and console owners should feel bad about themselves. I uh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, so let, let me get the uh, controversy sorted out real quick. There's a new DLC pack. Free DLC pack, for the most part, coming out for Civilization. And the uh, 2K Fire Axis, whatever company deals with it, or develops it, or is uh, responsible for porting over the DLCs to console. Basically, there's a issue with... Uh, it's just console issues, you know? They're a lot harder to work with than uh, PC games. 
like the Steam storefront a lot easier to work with than anything micro Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo does, probably especially Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, so, like, uh, like since this is three LC, like I'm assuming they're gonna be they're gonna introduce that stuff with a patch. And the big difference between Steam and uh, either of the console, the the big console, the the two big console storefronts, is that patch, patch uh, to make patches go live, you need to pay them. Mm-hmm. In on Nintendo, you just don't get to do patches. It is against their religion. So, pretty sure that's accurate. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's been a big controversy surrounding the uh, upcoming. DLCs, which, as you noted, they're they're for the most part they're free LCs. Yeah. Uh, it it's all coming with the uh, basically if you already own all the DLC for Civ Six, you'll be getting these leaders for free. If you don't own all the DLC, I don't know if they're even available as a separate purchase. I think it's a matter of you got to purchase the whole shebang, the anthology edition. Of Civilization Six, if you want access to these alternate leaders that will be coming out over the next three or four or five months or so. Yeah, if if you don't own all of the DLC, you need to go in, into Notepad, op- or go go into the game games files, open up Notepad, and t- type Ju- Julius K- uh, Julius Caesar. Yes, or actually not one. <laughs> he would put one. <laughs> yes, yes. It's just just a matter of altering the files in Notepad. It'll be fine. But uh, yeah, so yeah, that stuff got announced uh, this week or last week. I don't remember which. But over the course of the next four months, I want to say, going from November to March at the latest, they'll be releasing, I believe it's monthly. They'll be releasing, I assume monthly, a handful of leaders, alternate leaders for Civilization VI over the months. And starting on Monday, that's when their first pack drops, they will be giving us access to a Lincoln of America. I believe it's called Zynga of the Congo, but I could be wrong on that. I don't have a link open, so I should probably open that. And uh, then there's going to be an alternate persona for a leader already in the base game, Sultan Saladin. Of Arabia, so I'm really excited for that one because uh, Arabia became one of my favorite civs to play, and I'm a big fan of Saladin, so I was happy to see him get some love, since uh, his leader ability is kind of uh, didn't get as much love over the years as other civilizations got because they had a lot, of, they had a massive amount of power creep with their final DLC in the New Frontier Pass, so if they're able to kind of boost. Arabia up the tier list a bit with uh, more modern mechanics or gameplay loops. I think that'd be cool. But y- y- you never know what they're going to come out with. They- no real information has been released with that. But uh, disregarding all of that, they did have a live stream on Wednesday or so. I'm just going to pretend it was-, was Wednesday. It might not have been. But that doesn't matter. What happened? What matters is that there was a live stream, and it happened, and I watched some of it. And uh, during their live stream, they announced that one Julius Caesar will be joining the game as an alternate leader for Rome, as long as you have your 2K account uh, linked up. You know, kind of like a previous free DLC, the uh, Cat Scout. All you need to do to get access to that is to link your 2K account, and you're golden. So I was very, very excited for Julius Caesar because that's kind of a very, very important figure in history, all things considered. And then they announced his leader ability, which the base game Rome, their leader ability is to have a automatic monument in whatever cities they build. So they don't actually have to build any monuments, just plop your city down, boom, it's already set to go with the monument. Uh, and, and now, Caesar's ab- ability is turning into Swiss cheese. Yes, yes, that is very true. That was uh, that was a thing that definitely did happen. Uh, yeah, Caesar's ability no longer allows you to get a free monument, which sucks. But his new ability, 
is that for every barb encampment you clear, you get 100 gold on top of the 50 base gold that you typically get, I believe. And when you conquer a city, you get 200 gold. Now, that might sound like a lot, but it's really not. And it, 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 his ability just completely sucks. And let me explain why. So, um, let, let's say you conquer your barb camp. You get 150 gold. That's a lot of gold, quote-unquote, but it's not. Because the cheapest thing you could buy in the early game, I want to say, is a trader. And those are 175 gold, if I'm not mistaken. So even clearing out a barb camp really quickly only nets you 150 gold. So that's only a discount of like 75% off a trader that you would want to buy or be able to buy. So the, the economy in the early game, it might help with the clearing of all the barb camps, but it's really not a lot of gold. And then there's a matter of fact where if you conquer a city, that's 200 gold right off the bat. Well done. Congrats. Congratulations to you and yours. Uh, but now that you've conquered the city, depending on its location, you might have loyalty troubles with it. Because cities are usually pretty close to the original owner's capital. So let's say, all right, I just got all this gold from conquering this city. Now I can just straight up purchase a monument to make sure it doesn't loyalty flip or anything, right? Wrong. Monuments cost 240 gold. You only get 200 base gold for conquering the city. So you're actually probably going to be losing more gold as you intend to conquer than you do gain. So Trajan's ability of having a free monument in every city is just head and shoulders better than Julius Caesar. So it's like, why did they... Why, who, who thought that through? They, they gave I, I us like, the most impressive historical figure of all time. And they made his leader ability complete crap. I think it might be a reference to the time he got kidnapped. Could do you, be. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. For for those for those who who don't who don't know, there was this time uh, Julius Caesar got got kidnapped, and the the pirates. I think it it was pirates that kidnapped him. Yeah. The, the pirates asked for like like I want to say like two hundred gold, and then he he argued with the pirates that he's worth more. Yeah. So, you know that that might be the the closest appro approximation that they can they can portray that. In which case, that that like I appreciate the the reference, but still somehow make it work with the game, maybe. Yeah, it's like it, it barely qualifies as an ability in my mind. It's just kind of an extra benefit to clearing barb camps and nothing else. So. Yeah. I was I was really disappointed when they announced his leader ability because it's very very underwhelming. They they took a very solid civilization in Rome who's already got good base abilities and leader abilities. Then they gave them an alternate leader who just like straight up has a worse leader ability. So that that was dumb. But I'll just open up the files in Notepad and mod it into something else. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> just set set the gold gain gold gold gain to nine million. Exactly. It's it's what Caesar would have wanted. It's it's what Caesar would have wanted. This is accurate. But regardless of the fact that his leader ability is completely underwhelming, I'm happy to have Julius Caesar in the game. And with that being said, that kind of wraps up the Sib discussion. And outside of Civilization, I only really played a little bit of Dead by Daylight the other day and then did nothing else for the entire week except uh, watch the dog and watch the workers outside and work stuff out myself. So uh, it, was, it was just work and dog this week for me. Like, I'm just ima imagining that. Probably be that way for the next two or three weeks. I I'm just ima imagining that you're, you're, in, you're in like a completely bare room. There's the dog. And you're, you're, sitting, you're sitting across the room looking at it intently. <laughs> the dog's not, not doing anything. He just sits and ponders yeah. his existence. Uh, but yeah. 
Then I get, I, I guess by week. Oh, let's see. Let's start with the with the the first one. Skyrim got added to PS Plus, so I redownloaded Skyrim. But I, I downloaded Skyrim on, on PlayStation for the first time. But yeah, I gave it another chance. Nice. I got farther than the first time because this time I couldn't down, download a fucking uh, mod loader that skips the, the intro cutscene. <laughs> Wait, you could or could not? Couldn't. Oh. Uh, on Xbox, you can. Yeah. But yeah, so... I, uh... I downloaded a couple of mods, but it was it it was the the biggest changes that that um that you can do on PlayStation, which is just to say, improve the AI. That's it, actually, like That's pretty much. It? Yeah. What if I don't want improved AI? Then you just don't do mods. But but, but I but, need to do mods. But like yeah, like the, the Skyrim's mod um library at least the, of, of the ones i've found or mostly just like improve the ai uh one armor set a uh, new mission literally one i think <laughs> <laughs> and then like recolors of the, of the variable form like not new not new models mind you recolors just texture jobs. Werewolf form yeah, you can you can become a werewolf in Skyrim. I did not know that. Ah, uh, like the I know you can be a lizard man in Skyrim, but I yeah no 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 you have you have your species, uh yeah. which are which are white man white man white man white man orc, uh Tajit, which is cat person and and Argonian which is which is lizard person. This is true. And then uh, wait, I th I think you can also be black. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> it, it might be possible, but probably not. And then any one of these can also become a vampire or a, and or a werewolf. But See, to... I think I knew about the vampire thing. I didn't know about the werewolves. Like all I all I know about the werewolf stuff. Is uh, there's a guy that you need to talk with to start the the quest line to become a werewolf, and his name is Farkash, which is just a Hungarian word for wolf. Ah. And like, you know, it's it's one of those things where like, they they made it very obvious at the same time that legitimately is a it is a, a family name even here, because I I have uh, extended family members named Wolf, so. That's fair. But yeah, so I played that, and it's it's a game. <laughs> it, it would be a lot more. <laughs> game, all right. It would be a lot more um, tolerable, in my opinion, on PC, just because the UI is very obviously not designed for con controllers, and it felt like I was struggling and fighting the AI, or the AI, the UI <laughs> rather, <laughs> to yeah. to do the things that I wanted to. Because, like, you know, Bink, if you want to, uh, if, if you want to open up the map, which button do you press? I think it's a select button. No, actually, you press, so, oh, you press, you press B, and then you press down. And then you press X, or whatever, A, rather. And that's how you open up the map. <laughs> yep. If you press select, <laughs> if you press select, uh, the game asks you how much time you want to pass. Oh, that's right. And then if you if you want to open up your inventory, which button do you press? I don't know. Or I, I guess I'll say which if you want to enter a pause menu. Because it's... Whatever. Like, usually, uh, I guess it is, this might be a newer thing than Skyrim, but still, like, nowadays, if you think about it, pause menus and inventory screens are the same thing. Yeah. Not in Skyrim. In Skyrim, if you press start, then it brings up the pause screen where you can save the game. That's it. You can save, load. Uh, no, that's your logbook. Your logbook is there. So you can change uh, quests there. But that's pretty much it. You, there's also like a... What's the log of, of uh, what's been said recently? But that's about it. 
No, if you want to fuck around with your inventory, you need to press B and then press to the sides. And okay. then press A. And if you want to level up, okay. if you want to level up, you have to press B, up, and then and then A. Like you, you have to play VGS. And that's for the UI. <laughs> like you, you need to you need to hit the 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 jogger with the UROC cancel that. And then 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 um you 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 get like a buff to attack speed. I like it. But yeah, uh, I played a bit with it. Uh, I didn't really go go in with a specific build because usually you know people go in and and they're like, all right, I'm gonna play as like a, a full knight warrior, or like stealth archer, which is what everyone plays, or whatever. Uh, this time, I I didn't I didn't go with a plan, but uh, eventually it um. Eventually, I settled on being a guy who just fucking shoots constant fire at people while he's shanking them. Because <laughs> that's the thing yeah. that you can do in this game. Uh, the game allows you to, uh, to change your loadout on the fly with, with, with favorites. So that meant that I could switch between having a bow or whatever. And, you know, it's, it's a thing of, like, other games, you would have a switch weapon button. And just set it so it's like, all right, so for bow, I want this this bow. For sword, I want that sword. For uh, whatever, magic, I want this magic. And then it will just assume, hey, you want to use something. This is the last thing that you used. If you want to use something else, press the, the switch weapon button. Not this game. No, in this game, to do any of that, you need to go into your inventory and add them to, all, to your favorites list. And then during gameplay, pause the game to open up your favorites list, and then change shit out there. Oof. But yeah, through a lot of uh, fucking around with the with the uh, the favorites tab, I just finally settled on. All right, I own a a fine dagger because that was that was that blessed with tutorial mission to make a fine dagger. I own a fine dagger. All right. I know how to make fi or I know how to do pyromancy somehow. It just kind of came with the character. I don't know how, but yeah, yeah. And how fire magic works in the how most magic works in this game is their casts. So like they're they're, they're firing off as long as you have mana and as long as you're casting. Mm -hmm. So that meant that I I could uh I I could make combats just be. No blocking. I just put on put on heavy armor so that I, I won't have to block. I just block shit with, with my face. And then while yeah. people are hitting me, with one hand, I'm just constantly shooting a stream of fire at them. But I'm also shanking them on the side. One of them will kill them. But uh, the game, like, <laughs> I don't know how to put this nicer or better. But really, at the, at the end of the day, uh, I, I just deleted the game because I just deemed it too boring. <laughs> like, the world yeah. the world wasn't particularly interesting. I was like, well, this could still be a good podcast game. Like, you know, I could just do other stuff and then also play Skyrim on the side. And even then, I was like, I, there, there was a lot of walking. And there's only so much walking I can do. <laughs> And I just mm -hmm. didn't care. Like, I didn't care, care about why I was going. I didn't care about where I was going. I didn't care about where I was at all. Yep. Like, I, I didn't care about any part of the game, gameplay. And, like, you know, the, we, we, on the PC, there's, a, there's at least a, the thing of, like, oh, well, add just wacky mods. But, like, that's any game. Just add wacky mods. It makes them good. <laughs> like... If yeah. if not if not not in the long term, then at least you know you get a sensible chuckle and then you delete the game. Yep. And without the wacky mods, Skyrim's just like fine. Like it's it's mediocre, <laughs> at least from <laughs> from what I've played. Like it's well, I don't know, not even mediocre, because like I don't know the the sense of skill they nailed that, but everything else pretty much. It's kind of just, okay, it's there. It is functional. 
like the world is cool i guess like I, the world is good enough good enough that i, I looked i've i've uh, looked into elder scrolls role, role elder scroll El, fuck me elder <laughs> scrolls lore previously yeah but that's that's not on an implementation of skyrim that's just hey they didn't fuck it up <laughs> You know this. This is this is called the Elder Scrolls Five, I think, or Four. No, the Four was Oblivion. Yeah, this is Five. So yeah, like there's, you know, the, with with that stuff, I cannot give it so much credit. The sense of scale was good, but that's all that that can be said about most uh, Elder Scrolls games as well. Because like, they they've always been trying to to you know give you big big field. Like he, even when that literally meant actually just a gen- genuinely just a field with sprites, <laughs> like a sprite, yeah. a sprite of a tree that that you see every two seconds. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much Skyrim. It, it was boring, <laughs> so I uninstalled it. This then. Is, yeah, that was more or less my experience with Skyrim. Played it for a little while. Found it. Eh, I was like, this is somewhat enjoyable, but like after an hour or two of gameplay, I was like, nah, no. I mean, I've played Fallout New Vegas, and I vastly prefer that world and gameplay in comparison to uh, what I, I, I was about to call it Oblivion twice there. Skyrim, pardon me. So like, Skyrim just doesn't have any special place in my heart and their world design their gameplay designs none of it really won me over to the point where it's like yeah this is objectively a good game it's like yeah i I can see why some people love it but it's not for me yeah like you know it's one of those things where like i can get it at the time because the the amount of uh modularity that the 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 mods Funnily enough, bring to it. Like, you know, I can understand that, but at the same time, like, better stuff for that has come out. Especially considering that Skyrim doesn't even support uh, mods natively, or they didn't support mods natively until recently. Mm hmm. Like, just, you know, it's different art styles and all that, but like, you know, I think about, um, oh, fuck. I, I'm not, I don't remember the name of the game. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> crack, not crackdown. There's this game, that, this voxel based game about destruction that has a big mod support. But honestly, with with modding stuff like insert like most indie games <laughs> made in the past five to ten years, and there's a, there's a good chance that it has actual like native uh, Steam Workshop support. Yeah. So, you know, like, Skyrim has workshop support now as well, yes. But for a long while, there were other other uh, games that did it, did it before it, technically. <laughs> yeah. And, like, Skyrim's also not the first game to be modded. So... Very true. Uh, but, yeah. So that. Then, I downloaded uh, Siege, because that's also on, on PS+. Plus. Because I, I was led to believe that it would have crossplay. It does not. Crossplay will be coming out the next season, if I'm not mistaken, actually. Ah. Alright, the next season we might be able to play play together again. That's nice. Yeah. That could be cool. But yeah, it's they're, they're like crossplay and cross prog- progression. We'll be live. Sometime. So I was <laughs> like, Sometime. Right. Yeah, so, Maybe. so so I was like, oh, alright, I'll I'll check it out. And then I I load the game up. And the ver- <laughs> They're so fucking, like, they, they have no shame, Ubisoft. Yeah. Pink, can you take a guess which version they put on PS Plus? The absolute most standard version that comes with Recruit and nothing else? Yes. The version that, <laughs> of they, course. The, the version that they don't even sell anymore, by the way. Yeah. Like, that, that shit's delisted. I don't know how the fuck they did it. That's Ubisoft for you. But yeah, like since cross progression will be a thing, I don't need to worry because I I own DLC apps that I actually play paid for. 
for some reason, it was the one, the one time that I did microtransactions for two characters and never again. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like I, I, I have my characters. If cross cross progression will actually be a thing, but you know we we need to get there. This is true. So yeah, I, I don't know their status on cross progression. Well, they they said the two in the same breath, like crossplay will be live with cross progression, eventually. Okay. <laughs> okay, so maybe in the next season as well. If they actually adhere to their word on that, maybe maybe, maybe in the next four years, if, <laughs> if for honor, if for honor is is one is something to go by. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I played one one match against the AI. the The UI they changed the UI and it doesn't make sense anymore. And like I, I remember that that uh, my Xbox uh, just stopped working around the time that they changed to this UI, which is why it's still weird to me. But you know, it makes no sense. <laughs> it's just so weird. Yeah, like it just it just used to be a hamburger, that was your UI for the main menu, and now it's now it's now it's the Smash Bros main screen. Yeah. But, but there's only one mode in the game, so <laughs> like the things don't make don't really make sense. Yeah, it's uh that initial uh menu screen, I mean back in the day it I I thought it was fine, it was standard. Nowadays, yeah, the Smash Brothers screen, it's kind of I don't know why they went that creative direction, but they did and it's uh weird. Yeah. They also reworked all of the, all of the icons for some reason. Yes, oh, oh, some of them, uh, in my opinion, were improved. Some of them uh, just look nasty, though. the uh, The whole UI is a lot of give and take. I'm not sure how I feel about everything yet. Yeah, I, I didn't play around with it, with it uh, too long because recruit. <laughs> like, yeah, understandable. Like, don't get me wrong. I like playing recruit as a, as a meme. I, and I actually like for some reason I'm I'm best when I play recruit, but I need to play <laughs> but I need to play a specific recruit that I think may, they might have even removed. Can you still can you still um decide which faction recruit is from? I'm pretty sure you can. I don't think recruit has seen any changes since his introduction. All right, then yeah, then then, then it's just a thing thing of like. I I I uh, didn't see the the option while I was lo loading in or something because like there there's a very, very specific loadout that that worked for me with recruit and I I can tell you I didn't get get to play with that loadout <laughs> oh so it it was pain I believe it uh but yeah that's siege uh. Let's see what else. Well, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts. They added all all of Kingdom Hearts to PS Plus as well. All of them? Yes. Do you know how many hours that is? Less than you think. Somehow. Like people, I always see people being like Kingdom Hearts one. I I will not record Kingdom Hearts one because it's fucking five million hours long. I'm 10 hours in, in into the game and I've nearly finished it. Oh, yeah, that's not too long. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, it's it's longer than, than you know, I don't even know what to compare it to because that's, like, the, 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 the length I'm, I'm, I'm around is roughly the same amount of length that it takes to finish Spider-Man PS4. So... <laughs> oh. Well, no, it, it's less because Spider-Man PS4 was 12 hours, I think. And... I, I'm I'm around ten to to eleven. I forget, and like I, I think there's three or four more worlds for me to do, and also Pooh, Pooh Bear, if I if I Pooh feel Bear. like it. Yeah, like Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear is in, is in the game. You can visit him. You can do stuff with him. You don't actually need to do do his world, so you can just tell him to fuck off. Wow, Pooh yeah. Bear is entirely optional. How disrespectful! And yeah. Um, 
Don't be a, don't be a told me not to play these games. <laughs> yeah. that, that I would I would get more enjoyment out of just watching them. I disagree thus thus far. Like maybe the games get worse, which they they could, but. The, the gameplay, while not great, they serve a good enough job, and weirdly enough, uh, comparing the, the Kingdom Hearts fighting mechanic to Final Fantasy XV, because I love you, whenever I bring, bring up the new uh, action gameplay, uh, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I don't, I don't know what the, the proper verbiage would be, uh, the, the way they, they handle battles in the new Final Fantasy games. And, and other square titles recently. Uh, it, it, it's just a, an evolution of the active battle system, where they keep, they keep moving away from um, from turn-based battles to n normal action battles. <laughs> yeah. But the, the problem is, Square is an RPG developer. They don't know how to do action battles. <laughs> so, <laughs> they, they've been trying for the past 10 years. Actually, I, I can check. I think... Uh, I think Final Fantasy XII was the first game that had it, the action battle system. But the, it was the first game in the Final Fantasy series that had it. Chrono, Chrono Trigger beat it to that. But when was this released? Do we have a number? 2006 or 2007, according to the, to the, to the box. So, yeah, they've been trying for the past... Oh fuck! That's a lot, lot, lot more years than I, I thought. Uh, <laughs> sixteen years. Ooh. They've been trying, trying for the past sixteen years, and it's not come to fruition yet. By the way, I want to note: Final Fantasy uh, twelve came out after Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> wow. Yeah, King Kingdom Hearts. I don't remember if it's if it's the first one or the second one. I think it's the second one. Kingdom Hearts came out on my birthday. <laughs> Like Kingdom Hearts is all, is all, as old as I am, and it also came out on my birthday. It 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 was fate. That's pretty incredible, yeah. Let's see. Okay, no, 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 no. Kingdom Hearts was uh, Kingdom Hearts, the first one, came out when I was two years old. Turns out, but it it was on my birthday. Ah. Oh. So yeah. So Kingdom Hearts still still beat um Final Fantasy 12, 12 to the punch with or, or by um four years <laughs> at least and it yeah. has a it has a better implementation of the active battle system because it's just an active battle system or it's it's just a normal you know bare bones like I'll, I'll admit bare bones fighting mechanic. But they don't try to mix it with turn-based. Instead, the way they they have it be turn turn-based in in a uh, in a sense like it's it's less it's less actually turn-based and more uh, reminiscent of turn-based battle systems. <laughs> mm. But the way they the way the way they did this is uh you know those menus that you'd have pop up in turn-based battle systems. Yeah, that's just always on the screen, and you can use it in real time. If if you're on if you're hovering over attack. That when you press the button, you will attack. If you if you go down to to another menu options, so say like magic, then when you press the button, if you open up the ma magic uh so, 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 uh what should call it window, and then you can yeah, choose yeah. which magic you want to use. And all of this is real time. Like while you're doing this, people are hitting you. <laughs> ah. And and the thing that uh, that makes it makes this different to uh to the other implementations they have used for ABS to me. Is that they they really try to blend the uh the, the turn based battle systems and the active battle system together by introducing a timer that you need to wait for <laughs> to to attack. And okay, it's like all right, so I can't I can't think about what I'm doing because people are actively walking towards me and hitting me, but also I can't attack back because because I'm I'm on a cooldown, like my basic attack is on cooldown. Yeah. So like the worst of both worlds. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Kingdom Hearts. The story is 
it's it's been e actually easy to follow. You'll be surprised. I'm sure that will that will stop once I, once I uh, finish the first game and move on to the next, uh, whichever one it is. <laughs> but like it's one of, it's one of those things where like allegedly you can follow Kingdom Hearts' lore if you if you pay attention to what people are saying. At the same time, Xemnas turns into Xehanort, and Riku is Xehanort. But so is Xemnas. Yes. But so, Everyone is Xehanort. But so so is the the red headed guy <laughs> that that that's uh that, that's friends with um with, with I forget his name shit the Sora's heart heartless. Oh no, Sora's nobody actually. Sora's nobody. <laughs> like that? I don't I yeah. don't I don't need to say anymore. The fact that the, the yeah. fact that the fact that the fact that the words I'm saying don't actually mean anything. You just tell you. <laughs> now, like they mean mean shit. Like there's interesting ideas. It's just conveyed funnily, because <laughs> like the heartless and the nobody stuff is. Well, I don't actually know the the actual um. I don't know the the mechanics of how it works completely, but like a person is made up of a heartless and a heartless and nobody. And if they if they if they their heart gets stolen, then they they split up into two. And the reason that Sora Sora's nobody looks completely different is because Sora is not actually a person. Sora is a fake made by 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 squishing two people's heart or two separate people's heartless and nobody together. Ah, I I haven't. Looked into any of this shit anytime recently. I just remember the highlights. <laughs> but yeah, uh... I don't even I don't even know where to where to go after that. So uh, I really enjoyed the the way they implemented the, the Disney worlds. Like you know, they they did a good job adapting stuff to. The video games. I still yeah. fucking hate Hercules <laughs> for no <laughs> for no real reason in particular. I, I just hate Hercules. Like not, not even not even the movie. No, the character. I don't like Hercules. Like no matter where he shows up, even in the mean? midst. He bullies you in smite. Yeah. You don't need any more reason than that. But like you know, like the I think the I think the thing that I dislike about characters like Hercules or Superman. Is the way that they they're often presented presented as you know, woe is me. I have to think about things sometimes. Otherwise, I'm perfect. But sometimes I have to think about things. <laughs> <laughs> and like you know, Su Superman has weaknesses that that, that that are largely kryptonite. And kryptonite is supposed to be scarce, but it's not. Or at least when, when people write him shittily, then it's not. <laughs> True. And then, and then there's also magic. Which makes it makes it funnier, but you know, like the ma magic is is isn't used frequently enough. Or, or the, well, that's the thing. Like, magic is used too too scar scarce, and kryptonite is too used too frequently. So neither of his weaknesses are good. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, you know, why is Zatanna not beating up Superman's be beating up Superman? Just because <laughs> she could, because she's magic. <laughs> That's the only reason. Like she, she can't do magic. She dies in two seconds. But you know. Uh. But no, gen genuinely, like Superman is is oftentimes you know just too. Like he he's supposed to be an ideal, but that verse verse for both for him and against him, <laughs> pretty much. And the same can be said said for Hercules. Like yeah. Her Hercules didn't do anything inherently wrong. He's just too good in, in many ways and. Too bad in others. <laughs> Hell, if any, if anything, Hercules is worse than, than or, like has has more character flaws because at least he's he's uh, uh at least he he's easily mind controlled, I guess. Like Hercules, at least did, did the Kratos, and and like, I don't know I don't know what, what way to refer refer to to it is worse doing the Kratos or doing the Chris Benoit. <laughs> but no, no, no! He did the Kratos because he didn't kill, kill himself. There we go. That's yeah. the that's the distinction.
But yeah, anyway, I just I just really fucking hate Hercules <laughs> and how he's portrayed usually. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Yes. Uh, but yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, allegedly, I've unlocked summons. I've yet to figure out how to do how to use summons, but I have like four of them. So that's cool. Uh, what can I really point out? The, the like okay, Kingdom Hearts. It's not a gameplay game. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is a is a is, is a, an ambience game. Is the best way I can. Is is a really good. Uh, it's it's the best way I can I can put it. Yeah. But like the gameplay is fine. The gameplay serves its purpose. It's okay. You will not come away from this game thinking that it, it's like very innovative or very uh, fun to use. Like it is innovative in its active battle system, but best that like once you, once you get over the no novelty of being able to use the menus in real time while you're also you know running away from people and, and stuff like that and they're they're attacking. Like the the game doesn't have much to offer mechanically. Yeah. Well, you know, unless you want to get into into stat stuff, but stat stuff is always deep. So, like, stat stuff is well, stat stuff is always deep if people cared. If 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 if, if people put put in put in effort to make make them um varied enough. Yeah. But yeah. But what what the game excels at is, well, the aesthetic, in many ways, not 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 others. <laughs> But the the aesthetic and the <laughs> overall the overall uh well, ambience that that's uh it, it that that it it brings to things because like you know it's it's a twofold thing because it captures the the movies fairly good at least the the ones I remember it captures yeah. the movies fairly good and the way the movies movies feel like they they should happen with 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 these characters injected in for no real reason. At the same time, those characters are, are still injected in for no real reason other other than well, they're the protagonists, so <laughs> yeah. you kind of have to make it uh, center around this. And then for the aesthetic part, well, I mean, you know, I want to wanted to say his name real, real fast, but I I forgot. So whatever the the designer guy, Nomura, I think. Like he he has a very he has a very defined aesthetic, and you can tell whether he's redesigned someone or not. <laughs> ah, or or whether whether he's he's come up with the design for something or not because it's like Kingdom Hearts doesn't look like Final Fantasy usually. I mean, now that now that Nomura is, I think it has taken over Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is kind of looking a bit more like Kingdom Hearts, but generally speaking, Kingdom Hearts. Is um, I'm getting a picture because I I can't really put it into words. Sure. And then and then I will try to give a summary to uh to our viewers. I'll put it into the voice chat. The the voice the voice te voice text chat. How do I open that thing again? Uh, uh, it's the open it, chat button. Got it. Yeah. But yeah, Kingdom Hearts is Donald Duck. <laughs> the, the Kingdom Hearts is Don Donald Duck's uh, cap having a belt and two zippers. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you look at this design and you go, yes, that is Kingdom Hearts. Like the, the, Actually, the best way I can put it, Kingdom Hearts aesthetic is being over designed, but it pulls it off. Like you take the designs that are in this game, you put them into any other game or any any other context, really, and they look fucking garish. But the entire game does this, so in a sense, it works for it because if you can get accl acclimated to it in the at the start, then it won't feel weird when, when you're when you're in the deep, deep of the game. And like the, this. This thing is consistent for all of the game. Cause let me let me get you get you to the logo. 
And I, I don't know if it's the... No, it's, it's this one too. All right, cool. But yeah, like look at this logo. Yeah. If, would you not say that this logo is over-designed? <laughs> A little bit. Because like it would be fine with, you know, like... The, the the thing that pops out to me is the uh is the texture on the heart. I was like the most unnecessary bit that still adds to it, but still it's unnecessary. It would it would work with a, with a, a normal heart. But no, they yeah. ha they added the they added the texture because Kingdom Hearts is over designed. That's that's the gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> I also I also really like this, this uh how, in this logo how does. Three different levels of being embossed. Because the heart isn't at all. The letters are a bit. The, the crown is. It, it, it is being embossed. Just the, the yep. concept of being embossed. Yep. And that to me works fine for the game. Like, you know, so, some people hate this, this aesthetic and that's understandable. <laughs> Like, you don't take it. It is over-designed. But maybe it's because I grew up watching Kingdom Hearts, so I'm just used to it. Or maybe it's the, maybe it's the fact that it's a constant. Like, the, the characters that, that, that um, don't have anything to do with... Uh, or how do I put this? The characters that, that appear in their own worlds look the way they would have done in the cartoons. Like, they, they got those characters down to a T. And then everybody else... Yeah. The, the invaders are all of all these over designed motherfuckers. <laughs> and because there's enough invaders to make, like, it, the, because the, the story of the game is about these people invading worlds that they shouldn't be in, in ways. And because, because, because of that fact, they're everywhere. Things like Donald wearing that outfit doesn't feel that, that out of place. Like, you know, it's it's a thing of like, uh, it's very easy to to take an out of out of context screenshot of Kingdom Hearts and go go like, oh, this looks horrible, this is garish, and like, yeah, that's, <laughs> I think that that might be on purpose. <laughs> like, I, I I think that that that's on purpose when when like you know, if say for example, there's there's a Tarzan level. Like yeah, they could have just designed Tarzan to have have like the most fucking like anime leotard or whatever he's wearing. But they didn't. <laughs> Wait, what, what is he wearing? Is he just wearing pants? Like just underpants pretty much? Basically. Man, I fucking deleted Tarzan out of my memory. I, I played that level like two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Tarzan has been, has been replaced by George of the Jungle. Yes, the it superior, is the way. The superior version. Exactly. Uh, but yeah. And that's, that's pretty much all I can really say about Kingdom Hearts so far. Like, the, you know, the, I could talk about the story, but or I, I could talk about, talk about how the story is dumb further, but, you know... We, for one, we already kind of kind of discussed that just by just just with with the the, the broad strokes, and also there's too there's not enough time in a day. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like basically, like actually, I I just figured out a good way to summarize. Uh, do you know that scene from the, the, from Devil May Cry two? I think it, that's from Devil May Cry 2, where Dante is uh, holding someone, I forget who, and he, he's crying out to the heavens, I was supposed to be the one to fill your dark soul with light! <laughs> what? Yeah. I don't know that scene. I'll send that scene over, over in a bit then. But yeah. Like, the, that, that scene is Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> like, just, that's Kingdom Hearts summarized. <laughs> It it is it is. 
please. Okay, no, I need to open it separately so I can, then, then I can send it to you. So yeah, anyway, uh, I did also do uh, other work, <laughs> the artwork, namely, nice. I guess. I don't know how sentence structure works anymore. <laughs> I put this into logos because it's, uh, oh wait, is it about to play? <laughs> nice. So, I found a video of uh, of Dan of Dante saying that he he's holding Trish. But yeah, I found a video of Dante saying that, and it, it has been uploaded by DMC Light. <laughs> Gimmick accounts, but yeah. <laughs> so that, that, that's Kingdom Hearts summarized I like it uh, but yeah, going, going back to the, to the artwork stuff so uh, I decided since the ending of a couple of uh, series, are, series is coming up and all that uh, you know I do the best of thumbnails to uh, I just hit the microphone cool so yeah anyway I Make the, the rest of thumbnails be different, or at least I try to. And, you know, I, I wanted to, to do the drawing thing, but that's too much effort. <laughs> Just straight up. I believe. <laughs> so instead, I'm going a different route. What if I take the thumbnails, the, the series thumbnails that I use, and alter them to be more stylish, and make those the, the best of thumbnails? And I made a couple of examples that one of them is already in use for the time being on, on, until uh, I change it out if it's not good. If it's good, then I'll just leave it, leave it be because whatever, fuck it. Yeah. But yeah, let me try and actually select these so I can send them over. I made three of these. And hopefully they can actually convey the, the idea that I had. I like it. And yeah, like this, uh, the, the Spider-Man one is already in use. I've already, I have already edited and uploaded the the best of Spider-Man. Nice. <laughs> that took up the the last two days. And then, uh, the other well, Hitman will be replaced sometime. <laughs> and. <laughs> the, the, last, the last one will, will be uploaded with the video. So yeah. And then going forward, I will also do, do the best of thumbnails like this. I will also go back and do the best of thumbnails like this for um for the, the series we finished, which is just Ratchet and Clank, Strider. Did we do anything else? <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds like it. So yeah, but I, I, I thought, thought this was a nice uh look it, it was it was a nice aesthetic to go with and it's yeah it's utilizing parts that, that we already had and i didn't have to put in too much effort to to reach this it's just more, mostly just changing values so you know yeah although Hit hitman fucking was a pain in the ass <laughs> so yeah I did that. What else did I do? Hmm. Oh yeah. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> if I if I can, then I will send it send it your way. If not, then maybe no. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I don't know where to put this. I'll put this into into the record recording text channel just to just to trip you up. You're welcome. <laughs> But yeah, I tried out the, the new name. I tried to uh, I tried to see if I if I can make a good logo out of it. <laughs> yeah. Now, 
something here. Well, it, it, I had a couple of our influences. I mean, obviously, uh, like metal metal logos that you can't actually read, <laughs> for one. Sure. Uh, the pop art style that I that I'm going for recently that I really enjoy. And uh, the third one is Matt Hardy used to have this scratch logo that just looked like a, a scratch, but if if you uh, mentally cut it up into pieces, then it spelled out his his name. Yeah, I think I remember that. I mean, let me see if I can find it on Google. All right. Yeah. There it is. There it is. So yeah, you you can you can see the influence of that on on mine. Yeah. But yeah, like this 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 one was literally just. Uh, I went in, went into my edit or my drawing software. I wrote, <laughs> and then I I applied <laughs> filters. Pretty much. I like it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about the new name, new name just yet. That, that's why I haven't switched it yet. Because <laughs> like... I mean, the, the end result will probably just be that, that I'll go by Addy. Just flat out. Because you know... <laughs> yeah. And I, that, that is the desired end result. At the same time, wouldn't it look weird? That, that's basically, basically my biggest concern right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and then let's see did I do anything else hmm I don't believe so so yeah I think we can call it call it a podcast alright I like it well then pink yeah fill your dark soul with light Right!